Ladies and gentlemen, the director of Iron Man 3, Shane Black. War Machine, Don Cheadle. And the original gangster, the man who started it all, and also, Happy Hogan, John Favreau! It's like the band is back together. So Ben's, uh, so Ben's lovely. So Ben's lovely, and he's going to be uh, absolutely terrific. He uh, he came up to me, and he says, "You know, the most lovely thing happened in my hotel room the other night with my my voice." And I, I can't, I, I'm not going to tell you about it now, but I want to show you later. And then he did this kind of voice. And he's just, it's, it's, it's one of those things that's evolving and watching this guy perform. This guy is the Mandarin. Well, it's been a lot of, of fun on set. And you know, we, one of the, the fun things about this film is that uh, the other characters that are being added and the, uh, the actors who are playing them, you know, Guy Pearce and Sir Ben Kingsley will be in this. So it's just uh, an opportunity to work with other great actors uh, in in a genre that is sort of limitless in where it can go. So we're just really excited about it. At first it was very odd walking on the set of an Iron Man movie, uh, but, but Shane made me feel uh, very, very comfortable, as did uh, Robert and, uh, and Kevin. And uh, I never got a chance to really have fun with the role before because I'm always worried about everybody's feelings on the set because I'm the director. And now I get to really just have fun. And I've always admired Robert as an actor, and that's why I hired the guy, and now I get to play with him, which I never really got to do. And, uh, and also, as far as, as, far as uh, executive producing, as opposed to directing, uh, I feel like a, a proud grandfather who doesn't have to change the diapers, but gets to play with the baby. <laughs> For me, it's a chance to do a hero with verisimilitude, like John set out to do, and like he has already accomplished. Um, and he's been so good about stepping in and giving me advice and tips. He's in the movie, I mean, as an actor. But he'll come up and say, how's it going, man? He'll say, well, I, you know, I'm a little confused. Okay, well, and we'll sit down and we'll talk about it. And it's an enormous resource to have this guy. And it creates this sort of, uh, you know, uniformity, I think, among these movies that'll look like now one, two, and three, not one, two, and then three. Picture something a little more thriller-esque, a little more uh, high-tech, sort of Michael Crichton-style thriller, less aliens, more uh, psychological trauma, more headlong suspense. Suspense, there you go. Not just action. Hopefully we'll get some real good uh, tension out of this thing too. Um, it'll feel different. That's, you'll see.